Hey, what's going on? The Printer Guy here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some instructions on how to fix the specific printer model that is here on the screen. Now, the cleaning kit I'm going to be using to solve this problem is the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. What you're going to get with this kit is a 20 milliliter syringe, and you're going to get 100 milliliters of cleaning solution. There's going to be a link down below for this product. I don't recommend any other product. This is the product used in the video and the product I have used for years. So get your today there will be a link either in the description box or pinned in the comment section you're also going to want to top off your ink so make sure to get your best printers branded refill ink now if this video ends up being helpful please make sure to like the video any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe also the printer that is going to be in this video the instructions you're going to see is going to be from a different printer model but those instructions are totally compatible with the specific printer model that you have now one last note is your printer may need a maintenance box. A maintenance box is the thing that gets filled up with all of the excess ink and that comes from printing over a long period of time. If you've never changed this, you're really going to want to change it. There's going to be a link for this product in the description below as well. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started with this cleaning. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the maintenance section and you're going to want to print off a nozzle check. Now, th the purpose of printing off this report is this is going to tell you what colors you need to focus on when doing the cleaning. But for example, if you're printing blank pages, you already know that all of the colors need a cleaning. So you don't really need to print off this nozzle report if that's the case. But if you have a few colors or a few spotty prints, you really want this report because that's going to show you the colors that have breaks in the lines and the colors that are faded. Now to get the print head out of its locked position, you're going to print another nozzle check and while the print head is moving back and forth, you're going to remove the power cable. Don't worry, I've done this hundreds of times and this is a completely normal process. Now once the print head is in the middle like this, you're going to want to move it all the way to the left side because now what you're going to do is you're going to remove the paper that was printing. Uh, you want that out of there so that you can then fold up a piece of paper towel and place it under the print head. The purpose of having this paper towel under the print head is the paper towel is going to absorb and catch all of the dried up ink and cleaning solution you end up pushing through the system. Now you're going to want to remove this tiny Phillips head screw and you're going to want to remove that top piece. Once that top piece is removed, then like I said, you're installing your paper towel and then you want to move your print head directly over that paper towel. You want it to be completely centered. Now for every 10 milliliters of solution that you push through this print head, you're going to want to replace this paper towel. So have some a roll of paper towel handy. And then once you've got that in place, you can then start the process of taking the system apart. Now you want to bring your nozzle check back into the picture so that you can really make sure of the colors that need a cleaning. Now it doesn't matter what colors need a cleaning, you need to remove all of these, uh, I'll call them makeshift cartridges. This is basically where the ink goes from the veins into the ink cartridge compartment, although it's bottled ink of course. These are just here to push them into the print head. So instead of having regular ink cartridges, you have these makeshift ones that ink just flows through and they work pretty much the same way. So you're removing all of these. They're very easily removable. There's a little tab that you just need to press in and then they easily come out. So you're going to move them all out of the way because you need to work now on whatever one of these nozzles is giving you issues. So the ones that are printing perfectly, you don't want to touch them. So the color scheme with these nozzles is going to match exactly what is on the printer when you're installing the bottled ink. So you have black, yellow, magenta, and cyan. So decide on which colors you're having the most issues with. Now you're going to use the best printers cleaning kit. Again, there's going to be a link in the description below for this product. Get yours today. With the kit, you're going to get this silicone tubing that is going to fit over the syringe body on one end and then whatever nozzle you're putting it on on the other end. So we're starting off with the black ink nozzle. You want it to be completely secure and snug. This tube is going to be a little smaller so that you have a lot more pressure built up and it's a tight fit over this nozzle. So it really will fit over if you just pinch it and put it in place. Now I'm pushing 10 milliliters of solution. Once I've pushed 
10 milliliters of solution, I'm going to be removing this paper towel and replacing it with a new paper towel. Now, if you're having an issue pushing the solution through any one of these colors, you're going to want to pause this. You're going to want to take a step back and you're going to want to warm up the solution. Remove any of the normal temperature cleaning solution from the syringe and then reinstall some warm solution. Then start to press slowly until that blockage starts to break up. That's what you're doing here with the warmer solution. But if you're not having that issue, then just proceed as usual, pushing through that cleaning solution 10 milliliters at a time and then swapping out the paper towel so that you don't have a big mess on your hands. So how much cleaning solution are you pushing through in total though? You're doing 10 milliliters at a time, but how much in total? Well, it depends. I would use the entire bottle that you get in the kit. And I would really focus on the colors that are giving you the most issues. If black is worse than magenta, push 40 to 50 milliliters through there. And if magenta is not as bad as black, do 20 or 30 milliliters. But really do it until you feel satisfied and you feel like that blockage is broken up. Another good indicator is the paper towel. Once you see less and less ink on the paper towel when you're swapping it out and it becomes clear and it's just cleaning solution pushing through there, you have completed that process. I mean, you have broken up and you have cleaned that dried up ink. So you're good to go really once that begins to clear up on the paper towel. That's a great indication. Now, when you're done, you really want to make sure everything is dry. Everything needs to be completely dry before you power this machine back on. If you don't make sure that everything is dry, you could potentially damage your printer. So from the around the ink nozzles to uh, under the print head you move the carriage back and forth everything everything dry i would even say leave it for 12 hours so that it can be completely dry wherever the solution may have gotten where you couldn't dry it and then power on your machine all right so now that the cleaning is done you're putting everything back in place you've put in the makeshift ink cartridges in place the veins are all in order the way they're supposed to be and now you're putting on this cover and you're screwing that Phillips screw back in. Now this next part is very very important. You're powering the printer back on. Now what you want to do is you want to do a power cleaning. The reason why you're doing a power cleaning is not to clean the printhead. Although you may have tried that in the past to clean the print head, we are going to be doing it now for another reason. We're doing it so that the ink is pushed back into the system. So you go into your maintenance and you go all the way to number three, which is power cleaning, three out of seven. And you click OK, OK, and then you're going to be clicking the start button for five seconds. That's going to initiate a 10 to 15 minute power cleaning. In that time, the ink is traveling from the ink tanks. It's been pushed out of the print head already, but it's it's traveling back now through the veins and into the print head. So now all your colors should come back normally again. If it doesn't work the first time, because now we're printing a nozzle check to confirm that it did work and it did in fact work on this printer, you're going to go back and do it a second time and up to a third time. Now, through this whole process, you want to make sure that your ink is full. If your ink isn't full, don't attempt to do a power cleaning. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for some remanufactured ink. And you want to make sure that your ink tanks are full before you do a power cleaning. All right, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.